tires. That's my load right there. Empty trailer and we're headed home. Good morning, my friends and my foes. But I mean it more for my friends. Today is uh, Friday, August 19th, 2022. I just unloaded these tires here. I slept right here at the customer last night. First thing this morning, they got them off my truck. I've done my paperwork. I've called to the load gods and they have answered me. And the answer is, go home, Trucker Josh. Spend some time at home. So I'm about four or five hours down the road from the shop and drop this trailer off in the yard first. And then we're gonna go to the shop and uh, relax there for a little bit, get some stuff done on the truck, maybe wash it down, depending on what time we get there. And uh, we'll head home from there for the weekend. Monday, we have, a, we have somewhat of a plan yet. It's in the works though. I'll wait to talk about it until we know exactly what's going on. I should know by later this afternoon. Get ourselves back out onto the road here and point our nose towards the shop. Wonderful. Oh wait, no. Karen wants me to go that way. Karen, why aren't you talking to me? Why is your volume off? I almost went the wrong way. Speak to me. What's going on here? You mad at me? Looks like this road here is gonna take us up to Trans Canada and we're gonna head straight east from there. Just stopped here in Mooseman, grabbed myself some Timmies. I noticed uh, next to me, in the passenger seat, this guy's got a jerry can. I don't know if it's filled with gas. I hope not. But what else do you put in a jerry can? What is that, like his uh, his water bottle? Does he put water in there and drink out of it? I'm not trying to make fun of him, but seriously, what are you doing with a jerry can of gas in your cab, man? Right? Come on, I'm not the only one that's like, what? Nice warm summer day here in Winnipeg again. Just coming into the west side. Flying J is just up here ahead of us. Almost back, almost there. It's been the end of the week on the ride home, so you know how it's been. Nothing stopping me. I didn't even stop in Brandon for coffee. Though I did stop and moose them in there, I did. Never heard anything more about the guy with the gas can in his passenger seat, his little buddy there. I don't know why he was there. Just thought of that now again. I haven't seen him down the highway again. Who knows what happened to him. Might show up on the news later. Who knows? Why would you put a gas can on your passenger seat? Seriously, what reason could there be? Unless you're filling it with water, but why? Why don't you just buy a water bottle? It's obviously got gas in it, right? That's what gas cans are for. I don't know, man. Speaking of gas, 
looks like we're sitting at a dollar sixty-eight nine. I hate how they do that. That's a dollar sixty-nine. There is no such thing as point nine of a cent. Dollar sixty-nine per liter for gasoline. About a dollar eighty-eight a liter for diesel fuel. Still way too astronomically high, if you ask me. You know, fuel prices have come down from above two dollars a liter. And everybody's like, oh, it's so nice to have some relief. <laughs> that's, that's not relief, excuse me. Back down to normal levels, below a dollar a liter for diesel fuel, that's relief. You know, well below a dollar. It wasn't that long ago when it was 88 cents a liter and we were like, ah! Now it's like a dollar 88 and everyone's like, oh, it's so nice. So nice that the gas prices have come down. No, they haven't. They're tricking you. See, they put the fuel prices through the roof and then they bring them down to where they actually wanted them and everyone's like, oh wow, they've they've reduced fuel prices. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. I don't care who they're trying to blame. You can't like raise the fuel prices through the roof, like past the past orbit and then be like, oh, we had to. We had to because of the energy crisis and then tell me that oil, ex oil companies are like, recording record record breaking profits like billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars like I'm sorry I'm not buying it I'm not buying it greed greed is a disgusting evil in this world now don't get me wrong I'm a capitalist guy but there's got to be some kind of some kind of cap everybody thinks they've got the answers I'll just tell you straight up, I don't got the answers. I have no idea what's going on. All I can say is if I was in charge, things would be different. I don't say that they'd be better. Notice that. I'm not saying that they'd be better. I'm just saying they'd be different. That's my rant for today. We got about... 20 minutes around the perimeter here, 20, 25 minutes. Drop this step deck off at work. And then go spend some time at the shop yet before going home. All right. All right. Hey, I'm gonna put my Scottish hat on for when I talk like that. What's going on here? Huh? Silly. Don't play games with me. Just roll these legs down. Let's not forget my tarps. Ah, yes. It's very humid here. It was not this humid in Saskatchewan. Chuck you in right there. Very nice, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna get my. Whoopow! Good chow. Yes. I just gotta move those tarps. Oh, it's always sad when you see your tires are wearing down like normal, you know. It'd be kind of nice if they just developed a rubber that would never wear down. But tire companies would never market that. They can't make money off that. Buy a set of tires and you never need a set of tires again? Oh, that'd be terrible for business. That's like, you know, the opposite of what businesses want to do. It's like Big Pharma. They have cures to a lot of these diseases, but why would they sell you the cure? Then you don't need their meds, right? Crazy world we live in. Crazy world. <laughs> oh yeah. These tarps are very heavy, actually. That's probably about a 50 pound tarp, I'm thinking. I've never actually weighed them. I don't actually know. Most of the time, I don't know what I'm talking about, but people listen, so I keep talking. Oh, 
you need a polish. You need a polish, man. I heard that uh, Jade Transport in Winnipeg, they have a polishing bay or something and you can hire them and pay them and they'll polish your whole truck for you. Is that true? Any, any of you know? I might hire them to polish this whole truck. Plus if any of you know a good place I can go to around Steinbeck or Winnipeg that does polishing for a good price. I mean, I'm open to offers, or not offers, but to shopping around a little bit. I, uh, I've got to find a good, reliable polisher. I'd love to get that, that headache crack polish too. Uh, summer's coming to an end. I'd like to get it done before winter, and then once again in spring, yeah. Hmm, depends on the prices. If they're too expensive, I'll just wait till spring, right? It's getting windier. Sorry. You're probably dealing with a whole bunch of wind noise on your end. Sorry. There we go. See? Put those there. Okay. Oh. Hey. 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 Don't play games with me. I don't play games. Oops, wrong way. Whoa, hey guys, thanks for catching that. Okay, this way. So, why I do this here is I hook this onto the frame right there. Make sure it's not tangled like it is. Okay, like this, like this, like that, like this, like this, like that. And you, like that. See if I can shelter you guys from the wind a little bit. Uh, oh, pardon. Let's see. Okay, there we go. You see? And then I give those just a few little love cranks. And then the next step is to fold this up. You don't want this flapping around in the wind. It's going to get tangled up in your wheels and all kinds of moving parts. It's going to break something. Cops are going to pull you over and like, why you got that strap flapping around? And you know, cops are great guys, great people. I, uh, I appreciate what they do. But while they're on duty, I'd just rather not talk to them if I don't have to. Like that's sort of the goal. Sort of the goal. I'm just glad they're there, but eh, don't give them a reason to pull you over. Okay, it's a little bit more than a few love cranks, but there you go, see, lock that in there. There you go. Fifth wheel's unlocked, trailer dollies are down, airlines are detached, tarps are strapped to the back of the truck. We are ready. Oh, we're ready. We're gonna pop this popsicle stand and rock this joint. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Whew. One second. Kind of worried that they're not going up. Are they going up? Yes, they are. Okay. This morning I dumped the trailer airbags while we were unloading. Sometimes I do that so that the trailer doesn't like shake around too much while we're unloading and stuff. I, I dumped the airbags and then I clicked the switch for the airbags to go back up and they didn't go back up. And I was panicking. And then suddenly I played with the switch a few times and suddenly they went back up. So, <laughs> old blue, just messing with me, making sure I'm still alive. Making sure I'm still alive, paying attention. I'm gonna have to, if that gives me more problems, I'm gonna have to look into that. For now, I think it's good. A little bit of a sticky switch maybe. We'll see. All right, to the bathroom. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget your seat pal. Seat belt. Oh yes, that was just for fun. I don't need to rev my engine like that, I know. But I do it anyway. <laughs> Try and stop me. That's it, we're back. It's time to go home, do some laundry, 
have a shower and sit on the couch and do nothing. It's gonna be great. It's too bad that we all know that I'm never gonna just sit and do nothing. That's almost impossible for me. Uh, my mirrors came in though. I'll be installing these this week, this weekend, hopefully. One for each side there. Got a few other things that came in. And uh, I still have to install the train horns. Ah! So much to do all the time and so little time. I'll be leaving on my next trip first thing Monday morning again. So we'll see what we have time for this weekend. But for now, Old Blue is tucked away in her shop. And I want to go home. <laughs>